Hey Royal folks, it's great to see you all here again. We're back with some more Royal gossip, some news and analysis. But before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you for all the enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, I would really appreciate it if you could do so. Obviously, we want to bring you the best and latest Royal news and drama. And you really help keep the channel going, so I just have to get that out of the way at the beginning. And we're going to get started now in today's video. So Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been slammed by Princess Diana's former butler over Megxit. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as working members of the royal family in 2020 after negotiations with the royal family regarding a hybrid role in the film bro in the fair and broke down. Sorry, Paul Burrell criticised the Sussexes and claimed that the royal family bent over backwards in an attempt to please the couple. He said the Queen did so many things which are unprecedented to try and get them to fit into the royal family but in vain because she didn't seem to do enough. A $2 million property on the royal estate at Windsor didn't seem to be enough. Royal titles and jewels didn't seem to be enough either. To bend over backwards and to take Meghan on her first engagement to Chester wasn't enough to offer Meghan the chance at having Sophie Wessex to mentor her on the royal programmes. They weren't enough either. To say to Meghan, you can continue acting if you like, if that's what you want wasn't enough. Nothing seems to have been enough to make them want to stay. So I think to myself, you can try all you like. If they were so minded to leave the royal family, which they are, nothing was going to persuade them to stay. He added, he's saying that Camilla sacrificed him on her PR altar. Well, Harry, what have you done? To the people whom you've talked about in your book, have you sacrificed them on your PR altar? Use them to generate stories for your book? It's all she said. And he did that. He needs to take accountability for the part he has played and the stress he's caused the family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not confirmed whether they will attend the King Charles's coronation in May. Last month, Prince Harry was quizzed on whether he will be present at his father's coronation during an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby. The presenter asked, if you're invited to the coronation, will you come? Prince Harry replied, there's a lot that can happen between now and then, of course. He added, but the door is always open. The ball is in their court, he says. Now, that's rich, but what do you guys think about the news? Do you think that Paul Burrell is right and Harry and Meghan don't deserve anything? Or contrary, why do you think the royal family is still silent after everything? Uh, do you think Harry and Meghan are still hiding some dirty secrets? Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys. And really appreciate you guys watching today. And come back tomorrow for some more updated videos about the royal family. So thank you very much and have a lovely day.